What up, YouTube? Welcome to the very first part of what's going to be a very long video series of uh, my next project, which I'm going to call the Robot Drummer Animatronic Project. And uh, basically, I'm going to try to get this guy working again. Um, he just arrived. He came in uh, via freight on a pallet, which you saw uh, earlier in this video. And uh, I just got him uh, taken down my driveway and in my shed right now, and a big storm is about to come by, so I was able to do that in time. So yeah, this is just going to be a project I'm going to be doing in my spare time. I don't know how long it's going to take, I don't know how many videos it's going to take, but I'm going to just try to document uh, trying to get this guy running. So the very first uh, step is I'm going to take an inventory of everything, make sure everything that was supposed to arrive did arrive. and. I'm going to go and uh, take all the cosmetics off and put them in a safe place because I won't be needing them for a while and I don't want to break them any more than they're already broken. Okay, I took all the cosmetics off and the body beater it off, so pretty much everything is solid now. And this is the endoskeleton, I guess they call it in Five Nights at Freddy's, of the figure. So we'll go through it real quick. He's supposed to have all of his actuators. So we'll go through all the functions. And uh, this figure is actually can physically play the drums. It uh, Arms go in and play the snare. The right arm goes out and plays a cymbal and the uh, right arm the left arm goes out and plays a hi-hat and then there's two cylinders in the floor which I don't have but I can always set it up one of them is for the bass drum pedal I have the bass drum and the other one's for the hi-hat um, and the funny part is I've been watching a lot of videos of these so and he hasn't played the drums in like 20 years because the place he was playing at they don't set him up to play the drums anymore but originally, he could physically play the drums. And I was watching a lot of videos, and you would see the body rock back and forth. And I was wondering, how can the body rock back and forth, and uh, he can still play the drums? Well, the answer is that the body is on a separate axis, then the arms are solid. So that's how they were able to do that, which is pretty neat. So let's go through all the functions. Uh, first off, he has a mouth. He has uh, two eyelids. Each eyelid is separate. Then he has eyes, left, right, and center. And they're single acting cylinders. So they rest uh, looking left. Then one of them opens up for center. And the third one opens up for uh, to look right. Um, he has head, left, and right. Which, they, which is done down here with these two actuators. But something is messed up with the mechanism. So I had to look into that to see exactly what's messed up. He's not really looking right. And then when he looks left, it's binding, it's hitting here. So it's, and look, it was dug in there. So apparently they were running on that way and he was just damaging himself. So I had to look into that. But he has those cylinders to do that. Like I said, arms go center and right, arm out, and then he hits. Uh, left arm does the same thing. This one has uh, two different actuators. This one has a lot uh, a better seal on it, you can feel, and this one is kind of loose. I had to go and test the actuators. 
Oh yeah, he has head nod. I missed that part. He has head nod. And he has uh, body back and forth. Oh, I'm not, sorry, I wasn't looking at the calendar. Uh, I wasn't looking at the viewfinder. There's the actuator for the body. Um, body back, I guess you would call it. I don't know what that function is called. So that's all the actuators. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And then originally the figure had ear movement, which was taken out a long time ago. So that would be 14 and 15. And then the two foot pedals for the bass drum and the hi hat would be 16 and 17. So he came with his valve bank. Um, these are old school valves, they don't make them anymore, Mac valves. And uh, they, uh, the cool thing about these is even though they're kind of big and bulky, they're totally rebuildable. You can pull each valve out and service it. And uh, there is seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Yep. So there's seventeen valves for the seventeen functions. And then here's the quick. They call these quick disconnects, a way that they could disconnect the air hose without having to pull them off the valve. And uh, all the flow controls are down here by the um, valves. Now. The techs just do that to be lazy, so they could adjust uh, airflow underneath the stage. You get better control over your flow control valves when they're up next to the actuator. And that's something that I'm going to have to try to decide what am I going to do. When I uh, put all new air hose, am I going to put the flow controls up by the actuator or down in the stage? Um, so that's something I'll have to decide. And uh, if you have any expertise on that, uh, you can weigh in your two cents. But I thought I, I'll probably conclude this video here. Uh, the start of the project is showing you what I'm dealing with. Um, this project is going to have two parts to it. It's going to have the mechanical restoration part and it's going to have the electrical part. Now I am going to build my own controller just because since I've been messing with the animatronics for the last, it's almost been 10 years now, I think, since I got my first figure. Um, I decided to go the route of trying to design my own show controller because back then, 10 years ago, there weren't that many affordable options. Now, there is a lot of affordable options for uh, animatronic show controller. But since I've been developing my own and I have my own design, um, I'm going to go ahead and develop my own control system for this figure. And it'll really test the limits because I am planning on getting this figure set up to actually play the drums. So it'll really see how accurate the show controller is by trying to keep the beat. And I'm going to be working on the electrical part and the mechanical part simultaneously. You know, this is just going to be my side project, so whenever I get a chance. You know, mechanically, I'm probably going to like take off the head and clean everything. Because look, you just get all dirty messing with him. He has, this is like a 30 year old figure. I don't know what year it was built. It was probably built between 1980 to 1983. And uh, I don't know when it was torn out. I don't know how long it was torn out. I think it's only been torn out uh, two years ago. I think probably two years ago, you probably could have walked into a restaurant and seen this figure play. But this will be my next, my newest project, uh, and you'll see updates on this project. And uh, uh, a lot of my projects I kind of give up on. Um, over here in the corner are a couple projects I've given up on that you guys seen videos of. But hopefully, uh, this is a project that uh, sticks around and I'll be able to do uh, and don't lose any motivation over. So I hope you enjoyed this video. See ya.